Good morning, I am Pam Fox. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Okay, so I just want to share my ugly smoothie this morning. Mmm. It's really good. So, just really quick, a little plug for Costco. Um, have you guys been there lately and gone into the freezer section and seen the variety they have of frozen fruits? It's just gotten out of control. I can remember... When I first started my plant-based diet, they just had maybe frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, some mixed berries, and that was it. Now they've got like three or four freezers full of all kinds of selections. So um, if you're into making smoothies, which um, I'm into making smoothies, I need to do a video on smoothies and juices. I know there's controversy surrounding it, but I do smoothies. I don't do them at every meal, and I don't do them every day, but I, I do smoothies. And right now I'm going to be doing a lot because I just bought a ton of frozen fruit at Costco. But I also wanted to share... Um, oh, first of all, this is um, the mixed berries. It's like blueberries, cherries, strawberries, um, pomegranate, I think. And then I've got some frozen bananas in there, a little bit of spinach, some frozen mango. And that's it. And water. <clears throat> but I also bought this when I was at Costco. Barleen's Digestive Blend. And the reason I bought this is I was really impressed with the ingredients on this. It's a really nice uh, mixture of some fats and proteins that <clears throat> I'm all for. Flax, chia, coconut, pumpkin, and quinoa. Or as I like to pronounce it, quinoa. <laughs> on my first date with Dwayne, my husband, I'm wearing my I Heart Dwayne t-shirt today because it's my anniversary. On our first date, though, um, I ordered the, the quinoa. <laughs> And I'd never heard of quinoa, but it sounded, it looked and sounded good. And so I ordered it and I ordered the, the quinoa and Dwayne corrected me and said, it's quinoa. <laughs> and I didn't like him right then and there, <laughs> but I warmed up to him. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I recommend this. It's got, I'll show you. It's a, it's ground. It's all ground up. So you can put this on salads. It tastes really good um, in your smoothies, your oatmeal, casseroles, lots of things. And it's a health, it's a really great source of omega threes from that flax, which is such a healthy and better um, alternative um, to your fish oils. So much safer as well. So the flax seed and the omega threes in that. Um, yeah, I should do a whole video on flaxseed as well. But today, today we're going to do a continuation. So this month I'm doing the 30-Day Crush Your Fitness Goals Challenge. And my, in my last video, I talked about just a little bit of guidance on how to set up your goals for this month in terms of figuring out what your fitness goal is going to be and then crushing it in 30 days. So if you haven't watched that, I'll link that below. You can go back and see just my tips on how to set up that kind of structure that will really set you up for success. And that's so important because so many people that will get the motivation and they know they need to exercise and they'll think, okay, this is it. I'm going to do it, right? And they'll kind of put together a week plan and then, and then they don't do it. And so the, the more detailed your plan is, your structure um, you know, and your goals are, the, the more likely you're going to set yourself up for success. And keep in mind, if you commit to this and you find a week has gone by and you haven't done a thing, you know, you've got your plan together and then you just like fall off the wagon or you, you know, you go to one workout and then you're, you're too sore to get out of bed the next day, you know, that's okay. Just learn from that and recommit and start over. That's okay. If you can commit to this for about 30 days, there's a really good chance that you're going to set yourself up for that success to continue on because now you've built in a new habit into your life that you can, uh, hang on, that you can continue to build upon. And if you, you know, if you set up a goal for yourself, I went for a run outside this morning and I'm sweaty, so I'm starting to cool off and I'm chilly. But you can build upon that. So you you know you set your fitness goal, you crush it in 30 days. You feel really accomplished, and you feel really good about you know having accomplished you know this task. And then you set a new fitness goal for yourself. So it kind of you know you can see how it would kind of snowball and put you on a path to you know continued 
commitment to your exercise, you know, and just becoming a person who exercises, just a person, you know, did you ever like know people who just, they exercise, like it's just a part of their normal routine, you know, for years and years and years, they just, they're people who exercise. And I always, always look at people like that, just like, how do they do that? So today I want to talk a little bit more about um, the why we exercise that I talked about in my last video. And the reason I wanna go a little bit deeper into this is because it's, it's really one of the most important things you can discover about yourself to help you succeed at committing to exercise. <clears throat> when you go into exercise simply with the notion that I know exercise is good for me, I know I need to do it, I've had it, I've got to get into this program, you know, and, and that's it. And that is, that's as far as you go. And then, you know, that all of that can kind of fade away once you get back into your normal routine. So by really sitting down and taking the time to discover why you are exercising, really come up with a deep understanding as to why you are exercising. And that's what I'm going to talk about because that is what is going to motivate you to get up in the morning and pack your duffel bag because you're exercising today. That is gonna what's gonna motivate you to, you know, not work during your lunch break or whatever you're gonna, you know, because you set that time aside for exercise. It's gonna motivate you to whatever time of day, it's gonna motivate you to show up for that predetermined appointment that you've made with yourself to work out. And it's also going to push you in those moments when you're working out, let's say um, you wanna do you know, 15 minutes on the elliptical trainer today at level six. Normally you've been working out at level four, but you wanna push yourself. And you get up on the elliptical trainer and you pump it up to level six and you go, no, I can't do this, it's too hard. So in those moments, if you have a really clear understanding as to why you're exercising, that's gonna really push you it's going to push you to do that work that you're trying to do. So here's the, here's the exercise. Yes, here's the homework that I have for you. So you want to sit down in a quiet place where there's no distractions, something to write on. And you want to ask yourself this very important question. So really try to do this as a writing exercise. If you're just thinking about it in the car, or you're thinking about it as I'm talking to you, it's not going to be nearly as powerful or impactful as if you sit down and write it out. Trust me. Trust me on this. Um, so the question that you have that you want to write down is, what do I look like as a person, so this is in the future, who has achieved the level of fitness that I want to achieve? So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to picture who it is that you want to be and um, and you're going to come up with, I've got my notes here, you're going to come up with, uh, with a list. So you're ready? So what does that look like? So you're picturing yourself as who you want to be with the level of fitness you want to have. How is that going to affect your family, number one? How is you becoming fit and strong and lean going to affect your family? So maybe you've got little kids and, you know, you picture that person that's able to run and jump and climb and pull and get down on the ground and play. You're picturing a person that's able to take your kids on adventures like hikes and rafting trips and camping trips or whatever. Picture whatever it is that you think is ideal for your family and imagine that, picture that and write it out. Just, just pour out your heart on what it looks like if you were that person, if you were that person today, okay? So how would it affect your family? How would it affect, maybe you've got grown kids. How would that affect, you know, your relationship with them? How would that, um, how would they, would they look at you different if you were lean and strong and fit and dedicated to an exercise program? Um, would they look up to you? Would they find your example, you know, a good example? And then, you know, maybe that would um, motivate them or inspire them to commit to an exercise program. Okay, so what would that look like for your family? How would your husband see you differently or your wife or your partner? Um, so that's number one. And number two is how would it, how would that affect 
If you were a person who had the desired level of fitness and strength and leanness, how is that going to affect your work life? So whether you have a job or your own business, how is that going to affect that? Are you going to be more effective at work if you have more energy, if you have more strength, um, if you you know, are able to move more quickly and get up and down and um, do more tasks because you're stronger? Um, how is that going to affect your ministry or, or your volunteer life? So we're looking at this in terms of not just what it's going to do for you. Obviously, if you are in better shape, it's going to be good for you. It's going to make you a healthier person. But how is this going to affect all the different areas in your life? Are you going to be are you a, are you going to be more able to do the things you want to do and do them more effectively? Yes, you probably are because you're going to have more energy and you're going to have more strength and you're going to have more clarity and all of these things that exercise and a higher level of fitness are going to do for you. So you picture that person you want to become and how it's going to affect all these different areas. So family, work, volunteering. Next is emotional, your emotional health. So what is that going to look like? Are you going to be a more confident person? If you have achieved the level of fitness and strength and leanness that you desire, is that going to make you more confident? Is it going to make you better able to interact with other people? How is that going to affect your one, two, three, four, your goal life? So maybe you have, you know, a really big dream in the distance and you thought about it off and on your whole life and it's something you really, really want. But you really consider it a pipe dream because it's not realistic and you really don't have the skills or the experience to, to make that dream come true. You certainly don't have the energy or the time. So picture yourself being that person in great physical health that's able to, you know, do more work and is able to, um, you know, get, the, get those jobs done that need to be gotten done in order to get you to that goal. So how is that going to affect your goal life? And how is it going to affect your retirement life? So a lot of people think when they retire, it's just the time where they get to just, you know, relax and, you know, be lazy all the time. But if you talk to most people when they retire, there's, it's the time where they are finally doing all the things they put off because, you know, they've been working their whole life. And so now they want to do all these exciting and fun things. So you have to have that level of physical health in, in order to be able to do those things. If you want to travel... Maybe you have a vision one day to travel, to see the world. I'm telling you, you've got to be in shape to do that because you're on the go when you're traveling. You're doing a lot of walking, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of excursions. And so, you know, you're not going to be able to keep up and do those things if you're in poor shape. So if you have a dream to travel, again, write all this down and picture what that looks like. The things that you are going to be able to do, how you are going to feel, how it's going to affect your life, how it's going to affect the people in your life. And here's, here's the key. As you're writing all of this down and you're thinking about this and you're answering these questions, if something strikes a chord, something in particular, maybe you're a single mom and you have a child with special needs and you realize that, you know, if something were to happen to me, who's going to take care of my child? Something that really strikes that chord as you're doing this exercise. And that, I mean, all of this can be motivation. But if something strikes a chord in you and gives you goosebumps or brings tears to your eyes, you found it. You have found your motivation. This is what you want to think about when you're, when you're you know, making excuses and wanting to skip your workouts. When you're in the middle of the workout, you think, well, I was going to do this today, but instead I think I'll just walk. Um, you know, those moments when you're trying to push yourself. This morning I got up and did, for my first day I did, um, and I'll link it below, and I'm going to do a video about this, but I did um, just a little six-minute workout for, for leg strength because my goal this month is to be able to stand up from the floor with ease. So I'm going to be doing twice a week. I'm going to be doing... Um, just to clarify, twice a week. In my last video I said twice a month. That's not going to get it done. Um, Twice a week, I'm going to be doing this video. Well, I'm going to be doing several videos. Um, there's a gal on YouTube that just does a lot of little, these little six-minute, seven-minute, eight-minute videos to work on the arms or the back or the legs. So I'm going to be working on my leg strength. Um, but I was like two minutes into this little six-minute workout, and I wanted to quit because my legs were really hurting. So, um, you know, if you have that motivation, that something, that why, why am I exercising? 
and you have a very clear view of that, then that's gonna really push you in those moments. And by having this very clear picture from this exercise, um, this, this homework, as to why you are exercising, again, that's gonna set you up for success and and it's going to, you know, it's going to eventually turn you into that person that you've created here. Because, you know, I've talked about this before. It's, it's we become in life what we think. And so by creating, by really having a good understanding as to why we're exercising and who the person is that we're trying to become, you can go to bed every night and you can visualize that person. Um, you can get up every morning and do meditative, um, your meditative practice and your affirmations, and you can picture this person that you want to become, this healthy person. And if you spend, you know, time every day visualizing this healthy person that you want to become, and you imagine that you are that person right now, you picture it and you imagine that you are that person every single day, you will eventually become what you think and so the opposite is true as well if you don't spend any time visualizing the person you want to become you're just going to stay the person that you are if you spend all your time you know beating yourself up and thinking bad thoughts about yourself telling yourself you're too lazy telling yourself you can't do it telling yourself that you're a failure then yeah that is what you will become you'll become a lazy failure who can't do it so you've got to take some time and um, discover why it is that you're exercising. Write all that down. Find those sensitive areas that strike a chord and highlight those. And imagine that person is the person that you already are today. And imagine it and visualize it every single day. And you will become what you think. Okay? All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.